All right, we're back, Woodhounds. Back here again on the Back 40 Firewood Channel. Hope everybody's having a great day. What we're gonna do today, in this video, we're gonna start splitting some of this stuff up right here by hand with the Van Dusen axe that I have not yet tried that Mr. Van Dusen sent to me a couple weeks ago along with the axes for the giveaway. So we're gonna give this baby a, a whirl and see how she rocks. And we also have the Fiskars X27. And this is gonna be for our special guest splitter. <laughs> Amanda's here to give this thing a, a try and see how she likes this compared to the uh, the other. This one, she doesn't have to worry about scraping and damaging the handle and she can just go after it. So that's and what we're gonna do. Lighter. What's that? And it's lighter. And it's lighter. So we're gonna see how it splits and I'm gonna give that Van Dusen a, a whirl and see how that one splits. All right, so let's get set up. We're gonna do some splitting today and see how these axes work out. See how that Fiskars ends up working out for Mrs. Back 40. <laughs> wow, that, whoo, that was dang near a one swing split on this big one.
that one up and Whoa! Van Dusen! got that pile of oak back where the shed split up but now we've got a few more pieces up here in the front yard of some pine so what do you think so far yes do you okay, like it i don't want to be taped right now talk loud do you like it yes i love it daniel <laughs> so i don't know how this is going to go we're going to try doing some of this 
that dead pine that I cut down out in the front yard a while back, but I think these pines are pretty knotty. So we're gonna give it a go and see what happens. That is some knotty pine, and it is not splitting good. Oh, yeah. This is fun. Too bad it's not better splitting wood. Oh. I tell you what, that pine out in the front yard, man, that stuff split hard. But the Fisker's X27 passed the test with Mrs. Back 40. That new Van Dusen axe that I had, oh my goodness. It was amazing the, the power and force that thing can generate. Or maybe it was me or the axe, I don't know. So before I wrap this up, I wanna show you guys that wood that I hauled back that's five years old, almost five years old, those big hunks. So last night I filled this up at 10 o'clock. And right now, today it's a little afternoon. So 14 hours of burn time and I still have that bed of coals in there. And you can see how deep, how deep it is. I mean, it's it's still a solid, solid bed of coals that will still generate heat. So I could probably leave this now and wait for another uh, cycle to run through. But I'll probably just throw maybe two or three pieces on and then that will probably take me until about 10 o'clock tonight. So that those, those big chunks of five-year-old wood like I said, I put in six pieces last night at 10 o'clock and now it's afternoon today. So 14 hours later and I still have that bed of coals. And like I said, that thing will still, is still kicking off the BTUs. And just look at it burn, just no smoke, nothing. Burning clean. So those three pieces right there should get me all the way through this afternoon, this evening, and probably right up until 10, 11 o'clock tonight. So yeah, that stuff is burning great. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. Appreciate you guys tagging along and watching. And Mr. Van Dusen, this is one heck of an ax, my friend. And if you want a chance to win a Van Dusen ax, actually win two of them, be sure you get over there to back40woodhound.com. Valentine's Day, we're giving two away. See you guys next time. Stay safe, have fun, and be cool.